Back east, a new health concern. Health leaders in New York City say polio appears to be spreading. The virus has now been detected in the city's wastewater after turning up in other parts of the state earlier this summer. Well, now researchers in the Bay Area are wondering if the virus is in our area. New at 11, NBC Bay Area's Alyssa Gord talked with health experts about how concerned you should be. Uh, we read about it in school, right? To teenagers like this group of friends, polio might seem like something they've only heard about. But in New York, recent detection in wastewater of the virus that causes polio has led health leaders to believe it's likely spreading. Polio is highly infectious, and while most who get it don't have visible symptoms, a small number of cases can lead to paralysis or even death. Decades ago... These are, we're talking iron lungs, ventilators, you know, permanent defects. People were scared out of their mind about it at the time, and appropriately so. Dr. George so Rutherford with that. UCSF remembers waiting in line to get his polio vaccine in the 1960s. He thinks this news from New York is not cause for panic, but... You know, if you haven't been vaccinated, you should get vaccinated against polio. I think I was definitely too young to actually know whether or not I've been vaccinated against it. You likely won't remember if you got the shot. The CDC recommends kids get four doses of the polio vaccine with the first shot at two months old. If people received routine vaccinations in childhood, if they remember that, they almost for sure received polio vaccine. Dr. Dean Blumberg at UC Davis Children's Hospital says the polio vaccine has been part of routine vaccinations since the 1940s and 50s. Plus, in California, it's required to attend public schools, private schools, and child care. I take my mom's word for it too, yeah. But I know that I had all my vaccinations. If you don't think you or your child has been vaccinated, talk to your doctor. In Foster City, Alyssa Gord, NBC, Bay Area News.